As it's written in Homer's Iliad, the Achaeans used this horse to sneak into the impenetrable walls of Troy to besiege the city from the inside. Turkey's big elections are coming up, so we sent three teams around the country to speak to its people, eat its food, and explore its sights. Oh, and we threw in a few challenges to keep them on their toes. everyone, it's Didam from Team Falcon. Welcome to the second day of our road trip. It was amazing weather, guys. Mm -hmm. I think we're just gonna lose, we're gonna lose. We're not gonna lose. So we just visited the Hagia Sophia Church slash Hagia Sophia Mosque. It was built in the 13th century when Trabzon was the capital of the Empire of Trabzon. We just rolled up to the gates of Troy and right behind me is the wooden replica of the Trojan horse. We made it to the eastern wall of Troy. The Trojans chose this place as their capital for one reason and one reason only, and that was for complete control of the Dardanelles. That was Errol being Errol. Now let's see what Muhammad is up to. It is our second day here in Diyarbakir on this incredible election road trip. Now, behind me is one of the most iconic masjids uh, or mosques here in the region. It is called Ulu Jamia, and it didn't always used to be a mosque. But back in 639, it was actually an Assyrian church. Guys, we got our next challenge. All right, good morning. Today's challenge is a Vox Pop quiz challenge. If you complete the challenge, you get three points. Extra points will be given if you can find one person who can answer all the questions. All right, we're gonna find someone around here that knows everything about Turkish politics. That should be pretty easy, right? Let's go. Cumhurbaşkanı adayları Muharrem İnce var. Recep Tayyip Erdoğan. Meral Akşener. Temel Karamollaoğlu. Serahattin Demirtaş. Doğu Perinçek var bir de. Şimdi partiler partilerle ittifak yaptı. Görmüşsünüz Cumhur İttifakı, MHP AK Parti. Diğeri Millet İttifakı mıydı? Onda Saadet Partisi var. Cumhuriyet AK Partisi. İyi parti evet. Meral Akşener. Balık varsa parti var, balık yoksa balık parti yok. Çanakkale'yi kaç tane milletvekili temsil ediyor? Dört tane. Trabzon'dan altı tane. Diğer bakın 12 tane milletvekili çıkacak burada. Milletvekili sayısını soracağım parlamentodaki. 600 olacak sanırım. 600 tane milletvekili var. 600 müydü? 600. Daha önce 550 milletvekiliydi. Bu dönem 600 milletvekili geçecek diye biliyorum. Overall, people were pretty well informed. Vallahi şu an oruç değil. Hiçbir tanesi hoş gelmiyor. <gülüyor> of course, not everyone was right. Pek bir fikrim yok herhalde. 80 diyeyim. Toplumu bir 340 olur mu? Kaç? 600. Ama yaklaştım şimdi. We just got our next challenge. It says that we need to go to a local farmer's market and sell five kilos worth of fruit. So, we should be able to do that in about five minutes, right guys? Yeah. Five minutes. Bunlar yerli meyveler. İster misiniz? Tadına bakmak ister misin? What happened to five minutes, Errol? İster misin? İstiyorsun. Evet. She wants one. Kilo. Iki kilo. Woo! That's oh, we're three and a half. We're three and a half kilos over our five kilo limit. That's eight and a half kilos. So that's a wrap? That's a wrap, baby. And just like that, the very last pita of the day goes to you, sir. Enjoy. Wow, what a life. Okay. 
for our last challenge of the day here in Diyarbakir, I need to sell five kilograms of local product. And what better local product to sell than this beautiful pide? I don't even know these people know that inside their house. <laughs> so the abla here is uh, making fresh pide by hand. It does not get more local than this. Sell some pide, yeah? Dan direct me! Boyrum! The best. The best. Chef, you have a Thank you. 20 pides? 20 pides for 20 lira. It's not a, not a bad day's work. <laughs> All right, that's that challenge. Back to you guys. Now try to sell some fish, and hopefully there's one fish that's five kilos, so. They also made me clean a fish's intestines, but we'll spare you. Okay, so after much dismay, the mission is actually complete. I'm completely drained, so I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the day. Somehow, we managed to get ourselves invited to another iftar where people also love to talk about politics. Hatalar var. Ama birkaç kişinin çözebileceği bir şeyler dedi. El birliğiyle çözmemiz lazım. 2000'lerden 90'larda falan yani bu ülkenin balına 50 kişi yiyordu yani. Eski Türkiye ile mukayese kabul etmez ya. Artık insansız hava aracından helikopterimize kadar pek çok sahada varız ya. After the iftar, we got a text message telling us through a very complicated pointing system, second day's leading team was Team Turquoise, followed by Baklava and Team Falcon. I still don't know how we ended up in the last place, but stay tuned.